This video is the Rapid Fire book tag. I am linking in the description below the original video. And I would like to have this video be my first step into the booktube world. And we'll see how it goes. Ebook or physical book. Paperback or hardback? Paper. Paperback. Like to be able to flip through the book, you know? Online or in store? In store, preferably. If I can't find the book, then I will order online. Number four. Trilogies or seats? Probably trilogies because I like some closure. However, Game of Thrones. Love that series. Number five, heroes or villains? Heroes. Heroes. Oh, book I want everyone to read. One more. 1984. Is it a good one? Everyone to read. Everyone. So good. So good. George Orwell. He's a good writer. Number seven, an underrated book. Graceling. That might be an underrated book. I love that book. I love that series. It's wonderful. It's amazing. But that might be underrated because I don't see it pushed that much. It's older, quote unquote. Nine years? I don't see it brought up. I don't see people talking about it a lot. But I really enjoyed it. Number eight, the last book I finished. This is an underrated book. No, it's not. Just kidding. <laughs> this is the last book I finished, The Stranger. It was my second read through. Love this book first time I read through it, I loved it. Second read through? It was not as good. But that's because I knew what was going to happen. But it's still a classic book. Number nine, the last book I bought. So it's a book I just bought. Hamilton, The Revolution. This has pictures from the original cast, lyrics, history, and the creation of the musical, and of course, Alexander Hamilton facts throughout. I love this book. Number 10, the weirdest bookmark I've ever used. I use a lot of common things, you know, like receipts, napkins, paper towels, Scraps of paper that I find lying around, post-it notes, but I feel like that's common. I don't use weird things for my books. Number 11, used books. Definitely, 100%. Most of my books that I own are used. Number 12, top three favorite genres. Okay, that would be dystopian, sci-fi, which go hand in hand a lot of times. Jane Eyre, Jane Austen books, Wuthering Heights, that kind of stuff. 18th century, possibly. Number 13, borrow or buy. I like to borrow a book from the library or friend before I buy it so I know what I'm getting into. Number 14, the characters or the plot. The characters get me going through a book. Number 15, long or short books. It doesn't matter if it's good, it's good. Number 16, long or short chapters? Short chapters. Because then I can get through it quicker. I don't know why. I guess it's like more rewarding. Number 17, the first three books I can't think of. 1984. Of course, because I just didn't expect to this book. And then this book right here. Ooh, it's not in good condition. 
that show. Yeah, it's in bad, bad condition. It was under Stanley, too. I don't know how this happened, but right when I first got it, something bent it. It's not ripped, it's just bent. Well, I guess it is ripped a little, but it's mostly bent. It's a box I don't like this book, though, and it's very dark at it. This book changed my life. Adulthood is my probably my favorite comic book. You should check out this this author. <laughs> this book describes me almost to a T. I mean, there's some things that don't describe me, but mostly this is how I feel. She owns a black cat, and I don't have a totally black cat. I have a tortoise shell, but she's mostly black. So yeah, this book. She even shares my name, Sarah. Number 18, books that make me laugh or books that make me cry. Both, I mean. I enjoy a good tearjerker. I enjoy a good laugh. Number 19, our world or fictional worlds. I like both of them. I really like dystopian our world. Like, this is what we did to ourselves. This is what happened. I like that kind of book. Number 20, audiobooks, yes or no. I understand why people love audiobooks. I am not an audiobook person. That is not how I listen. That is not how I learn. Whenever I listen to an audiobook, I start thinking of other things. And 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour later, I realize, oh, what's going on? I have not been paying attention. So I definitely need the physical book. But I understand why people like audiobooks, because it might be how they learn, and how they listen, and I feel bad that I can't enjoy them, but I have heard it's good when it comes to biographies to listen to the person who wrote it, reading it, because it's entertaining. If, if it's funny, it's entertaining. Um, I've heard that, so I should try that. It might be easier. Number 21. Do I judge a book by its cover? Yes. Yes, I do. Unfortunately. Um, I think that when I was in school, high school and college, I was exposed to a lot of books I wouldn't normally pick up because, you know, covers weren't great or exciting, but I loved those books, so it's wrong to judge a book by its cover. Um, but what I do is especially for classics or older books that I love, I try to find new covers. Um, I actually own many versions of Wuthering Heights because when a cover comes out that I like, I want to buy it. Um, I know there's three on the shelf alone. Um, yeah. That's bad. Now two persuasions, too. Number 22, movie or TV show adaptations. And the adaptations are so hard. I disagree with many um, adaptations because they change a lot that I don't like. I understand taking away some of the book because it might be too long. Oh, and I don't understand when they add and change things. Why? I mean, I guess most of the time they have the authors of people to do so, but... I don't get it, and I don't like it. Number 23. Is there a movie that I prefer the movie version over the book version? Yes, actually. One book that was turned into a movie that I preferred the movie version is The Painted Veil. While I enjoyed the book, the movie was so good, and the changes they made I liked. Um... I recommend that movie as well. It's with Edward Norton, and I forget the actress's name, but it's very, very good. Is it Naomi Watts? It might be. You Google that. Do I prefer a series or a standalone book? I prefer... I can't say that I prefer. I like standalone books. I like when a book 
as an end, middle and end. I like closure. Um, but I do enjoy series books too. I enjoyed The Hunger Games. I enjoyed... I enjoy Game of Thrones. So yeah, that concludes the book tag. And the next video you see from me will have great lighting.